likely to edge higher in trade this morning on the back of an order win for the six laning part of NH79A and NH79. VD Maiskar, the chairman and managing director of IRB Infra, joins us to talk about that and also the demonetization impact on the business up until now. Mr. Maiskar, good morning and thank you so much for joining in. First, if you could start by telling us about this exact order win, what's the quantum of the order, the project size, and uh, you know, by when could you start to sort of uh, factor this into your earnings, uh, into your revenues? Yeah, very good morning. Uh, this is the third order in last uh, couple of months uh, in the same corridor. This is a 90 kilometer six laning project, and uh, with this, uh, almost 330 kilometers target for this year has been completed as far as the company is concerned. And uh, would also be happy to share that with this six lane order, which is a part of the golden quadrilateral, the share of IRB in the golden quadrilateral quadrilateral length almost inches up to 20 percent. Uh, that is around 1,000 kilometers of the 5,000 uh, odd kilometers that the golden quadrilateral comprises of. Mm -hmm. This is around 1,400 crores of order, and uh, it's a premium that we will be paying to NHI because uh, we will be getting the tolling rights on the project from day one. Mm -hmm. We expect around six months to get the financial closure done, post which the uh, construction on the project should commence. We are yet to get the letter of award, but uh, this is a preferred bid at this point in time. Okay. Uh, if you are going to pay a premium, Mr. Maiskar, okay, first good morning. What will be your ROI on the project? Uh, we expect uh, the IRRs to be positive in terms of around 16 to 18% on this order. And uh, the, the corridor is having very heavy traffic, and uh, that's the reason why it, uh, it's a it uh, premium. has a premium on it. Okay. What's okay. your uh, order book otherwise? Uh, uh, your with total this, order book? Yeah, with this order coming in, it should be around 11,000 crores. And there's some more to come? Are you uh, are you bidders? Uh, we, uh, no, I mean, uh, NHI has a system of mm -hmm. declaring the bid then and there, so okay. there's no uh, other order which is okay. in the pipeline. Okay, okay. Uh, Virendra, good morning. You know, we, we went through a phase where NHI orders uh, were not really sought after. They, you know, it, it, it wasn't really doing uh, too good for the companies. Uh, have we come out of that stage? Uh, it's subjective uh, question, Anuj, because uh, it all depends on the price at which one gets the order. So the order flow from NHI has been extremely robust. There's no doubt about that. But uh, whether the order would make money for the um, uh, developer or the builder who's doing it will depend on the pricing at which one has bid. Hmm. So yes, one has to be cautious, be optimistic, and keep bidding sensibly is the only way forward. No, so so the, the the competitive intensity that existed and even the the pig-headedness that you know, which was the word one of the developers, uh, is that out of the way now? Uh, we'll have to uh, look at it in two parts: uh, the EPC and the hybrid annuity uh, portion, and the BOT part. If I have to speak about the BOT part, I would say yes, it has certainly come off. There are not more than three to five bids that are getting placed on the BOT side. But uh, if I have to look at the annuity or the hybrid annuity or the EPC part, I think the aggression continues to be quite strong on that side. Any impact of demonetization, Mr. Maiskar? Uh, a demonetization impact, I would say that uh, it is in two parts. Um, first, uh, yes, we had to go through the pain of having a toll suspension for almost 24 days. Mm. And we are hopeful that NHI would be soon compensating for uh, those losses. Uh, they have come out with the procedure to claim the losses, and we are in the process of doing so. Uh, as regards the impact and the uh, post uh, uh, starting of the mm. rules is concerned, we have seen good amount of people now wanting to buy tickets on uh, debit card, credit cards, or ATM, or uh, even the RFID card sales have gone up. So that's a positive outcome of it. Uh, we believe the traffic to be impacted uh, slightly in the near term, but we see a very strong recovery post that. Freight rates have, have yeah, actually, actually yeah. cut their traffic growth estimates for the next two years by about 5 to 10 percent. Can you tell us exactly how much has traffic growth fallen? No, we haven't seen, frankly speaking, any very big dip or anything of the kind. That's a fear in our mind that the traffic might slow down. Uh, having commenced the tolling, we haven't really seen any dip in the traffic numbers, to be very frank. Okay, well, freight rates have fallen, Mr. Maiskar, so the fear is that obviously demand and therefore volume is falling. Uh, you, you don't fear that? Uh, at the moment, the collections that we are doing have not uh, shown us any such uh, uh, big impact in terms of slowdown or numbers going down as such mm -hmm. on a daily basis. But yes, that's the, that's the fear of the market. So. 
I am not being an economist would not be right on my part to comment on that. Any idea on when you will be compensated by the NHEI and what exactly the quantum of compensation is that you're looking at for those 24 days? Uh, we have been given the uh, a, a standard operating procedure under which NHI would be doing that. And uh, uh, we appreciate that once the numbers are formed up, we'll share the same with you. But uh, they are talking about compensating in two parts. One will be a cash compensation and some portion of it will be as per the concession agreement provisions by way of extension to the concession agreement. Okay, we'll let you know the quantum exactly once the same is freezed with NHI. Okay, William. Thanks a lot uh, for your time today. So that's IRB Infra. Uh,